Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, let's play Garby Spring Cross. My name is Chaosstroke87 again, and we're back for Cross 3. This is actually my third attempt to record this. And I hope I will get it uh, without any further disturbances. We have a new element in this course. It's a trampoline, yes, I, I actually had to look up the word there, since... I don't know, it, it, had, it had the same word in, in English than it has in German. It just it's, it's just... Mm, yeah, it's pronounced differently. It's not trampoline, cause it's called trampoline. Trampoline. It's not much, but it's a big difference. Well, at least for me. Anyway, enough of this pointless crap, as you can see. Those things are pretty self-explanatory. You bounce on them. And they change your movement. As you might have guessed. Let's see here. I don't know if this if this is right, but yeah, I'll try it anyways. I hate it when the marker is not on the center or something. It's it's not that easy to hit. And as you can see here, I miss it again. But at least we got the broom header killed, and the hole appeared, which is good. Thankfully, that was not too strong. And we're leaving this hole with a score of 4. Which is okay, I guess. Even though you can do it with, with less than that. Alright, next course. And it's pretty important that you pick one the right power up for the next course. And as far as I can tell, you need the spark ability. That means we have to aim for the high jump. So let's see, if I go down here, I came out this warp. Yeah, we, we should we should hit straight. But we have to be a bit, a bit careful because of this Gordo there. But wait. Actually, it should be easier just to Just to do this. Yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, these conveyors do what conveyors do. They push and pull you in the direction that they are actually running. Like this. And that was a bit close for comfort. Anyways. Good. Just I don't know if, if one more is okay though. Yeah, we'll try it. There we go. Yeah, of course we missed the hole, because why not? Well, at least, <laughs> well, at least I didn't go OB like in the last two tries. I actually overshooted that a lot, and the conveyor push pushed me right off the edge, and I lost a life there twice, which was pretty shitty. All right, this hole. Yeah, I remember that. To do a shot like this, where you just barely hit that broom header there. In order to go over to the other side, I'm not actually sure if the hit, if the hitbox is big enough that Kirby can hit him that way. We have to find out. Well, that actually worked. And yes, I used the spark there, just to make sure not to hit the wispy in the process. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. A nice clean tool. After all, this this course it's trickier than the first two courses, as you might have as, as you might have guessed, but it's not too tricky. It's just mani manageable. All right. <clears throat> On. This is why you need to spark, otherwise you will get burned by Crackle. For some reason he can't hit me, even though it's pretty unlikely, but oh well. And in we go. <coughs> But as you can see, I don't push the switch, so I'm I'm getting I'm getting thrown around here. So we might have to wait a couple of seconds before Kirby finally stops, if he stops. Yep, pretty much dead center. All we need to do is line ourselves up, maybe with a little backspin like this. And we should be good. Yep, that just worked. Awesome. Alright, former holds to go. 12, that's a decent score. Again, could be better, but oh well. Oh yeah, this hole, I remember this. This is a bit tricky and we also have a new power up on this course which is the stone ability Kirby will just suddenly stop if you use the stone ability and if you are on a hill like this he will slip down the hill which can be decent at times but oh wow but I actually missed this guy up there which is a bit unfortunate and we stop right here. Thing is, can I hit this broom header? Nah. Well, could play it safe though. Then as you might have guessed, you can also use the stone ability in midair. So it's overall pretty useful, but on, and it's a lot easier. It's it's easier to use than the than the stick ability, the eagle ability. No, not eagle, not hedgehog ability. Spike ability. That's the word where I'm looking for, which is a lot trickier to use. Ooh, and that was pretty close, but it worked. It worked. All right. <clears throat> ah, yeah, this hole. Yep. All right. The idea is to actually hit this wispy up there, bounce off of it, roll down the hill, and let's go to the end. Only thing is, you need the right amount of power to actually have enough momentum to go back and you have to be on the right spot to hit this flying enemy which isn't that easy even though you might you might you might think it's easy but it's actually not but this works as well because now we are on these air thingies and we can easily score and hold one like that I love my stone ability, I really do. Well, it's a nice little one on my scoreboard. And we have just two more holes to go. By the way, again, a shout out to the Ultimate Gamer again. Thank you for your kind comments. And also, um, good luck with the later Mega Man bosses and the later riddles in 
Beds, Strong Beds. Cool game for attractive people. Which I honestly didn't have... Well, I didn't know that game to be perfectly honest. But, yeah, it looks nice. And this might backfire a bit. Yep, it does. Hopefully Kirby will slide all the way down back. Ooh, that was close. It really was. As you can see, this is another, yeah, ability-heavy hole, if you want to call that. And that was too short. We might end up in the water, though. Yep, we certainly do. Yeah, I could have used the ice ability, but um, yeah, I would just slide all the way other, t uh, all the way to the other side, which sucks. And yeah, one more time. And I fucked it up again. <sighs> well, at least we are on the hill now. Which means we don't have to do a stupid spin fly shot like that in order to get to the hole. But... A little bit to the right, I think. And it was way too short. This is why water hazards are pretty annoying. Because not only, is, not only do we have the water, we also need to... Yeah need to have enough power to actually overcome this hill. And as you saw here, I've used all my tomatoes, therefore I died. Simple as that. Now I'm fucking angry. Oh yeah, and also if you die you use, you use all the current abilities you have. Which sucks hard since I can't use the ice ability anymore. And this 8 will terribly ruin my score. Great. These are the things that frustrated me as a kid the most. Because on some on some of those shots you use like 8 or 9 shots just to get him in the hole or to bypass a certain obstacle. And yeah, it's 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 frustrating to say the least. But anyways, we're on the right uh, uh, we are on the last hole now. And as you can see, there is a switch that sucks up the water, or that literally, or in this case, it will spawn water in this pool up front. And we have a trampoline here, a warp down there, and the idea is actually to activate the water, even though you wouldn't expect that. Well, at least I didn't expect it. And fuck, I missed the fucking switch. Wow. Well, the idea is to to go with your ice ability down here and actually slide over the water. But come to think of it, since I died on the last hole, I don't have the ice ability, which sucks. All right. Well, with the ice ability, with the ice ability, it's actually possible to score a hole in one since you slide over the ice slide down here and if you're lucky enough you can just make it to the hole. But a 3 is good enough I guess. And this, or this course is finally complete. As you can see they upped the difficulty pretty hard at this point and it only gets more challenging from this point on. But there are still a few abilities that we haven't had yet. So, yeah. Let's see. 28. It's enough for a Browsen Medal, but... Eh. Again. That hole number 7 screwed me over pretty damn hard. Yep, it screwed me over. But, oh well. Good enough. And we're off to the next we're off to the next course in the next episode and until then I'm Chaos Joker 87 signing out. <laughs>